Good morning and welcome to worship at Gilmore Park United Church. My name is Carrie Child and I'm one of the ministers serving you. Uh, whether you join us this morning or at another time, you are welcome. We begin our time by lighting a candle, a light to remind us of why we gather in community to remind us that God is present with us, offering us love and comfort here as we gather and in every place that we go. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for this new day, for gathering us together for worship, for song and for story, gather us in and ground us in you. As we come together, may we sing joyfully, laugh, be present with you, holding this time. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen. And our first opening song is Come Children Join to Sing. We have two scriptures today. The first one is taken from the book of Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be, be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Our second reading is taken from Psalms, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come to, into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. 
hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my heart and the meditations of today be lifted up to you, O God. Amen. Have you looked back yet to March 2020 and remembered where you were on the day when the major shift was happening and the pandemic was upon us? I remember the conversations really well. Let's close the church for a few weeks and then return to Easter. Let's work from home today and check in tomorrow. And then over time, more urgent messages arriving. Carrie, our building is on lockdown. We have to stay in our rooms for meals. Like a rolling river, the days shifted into weeks and shifted some more into months. Then suddenly, we, the church, found ourselves in the middle of a storm that we didn't have a manual for. But we most certainly had God there, guiding and moving, shifting, supporting in ways that we couldn't imagine. Fast forward 17 months and here we are. We can still only press the virtual rewind button to look back and see, but we can notice and we can rejoice and celebrate. Was it all smooth? Not at all. Here we as a community of Christ have learned a lot. And we can live into these blessings, especially as we don't know what storms are ahead. Kids church was formed, ukuleles and choir practiced, worship was held, Bible studies met, community meals supported and new initiatives launched, quilts sewn, blankets knitted, labyrinths made and staff hired. And the committees in the church have worked harder than ever before. After all, how do you shift things like communion, one of the sacred sacraments of our faith, to be safely held as a drive-through experience? Then we hear those powerful words of scripture, don't worry, do not be anxious about anything but in everything, prayer, petition, thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be anxious, for God knows that what storms lie ahead. Do not be anxious are words to hold on to, perhaps even seeing them over and over again through a breath prayer. Do not be anxious. It's like God telling us to take a big, deep breath and that all will eventually be well. And then we hear this grand word, rejoice. Rejoice that we have made today. Rejoice that we've shifted from in-person coffee and cake to drive through popsicle stands and umbrella distant co cookie times. Rejoice that our choir has shared music. Rejoice that words of gratitude were shared. Rejoice that we did get to worship and rejoice God. So let's look at some of the moments that we have experienced over the past year. Moments of anxiety, of joy and re rejoice. I'm going to share with you a picture. This picture is of me leading kids church behind the scenes in a sanctuary that is empty, but that all my prayers and props and the children are on the screen as we gathered this day. Was this a time of anxiety? For sure. Was this a time to rejoice? Absolutely. I want to show you 
another picture. Here is a picture of Isabel, one of our children, safely receiving a worship kit filled with items for her to create her own worship space in her home with labyrinths sewn by the Project Linus group, with candles from our sacristy and other prayers inside. We couldn't get close to each other, so we used a parking space to measure our safety. Was this a time of anxiety? Yes. Was this a time to rejoice? Absolutely. And, oh. Stop that. There we go. And there were many other moments of times of anxiety and times where we rejoice together. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Jesus. Every week through Zoom, Kids Church has shared the peace of Christ with one another through the computer and sung a closing song of peace to send us on our way. Today, later, we will sing that song as well. We did this knowing that after each week, the river of life continued. Schools opened and then they closed. Programs canceled and then switched to online. Masks were to be worn, then they weren't, then they were. Everything has changed and was changing by the minute, except for God. God was there through our anxiety, through our joy, and through the unknown, guarding our hearts and minds always. We give thanks for this, and we say, Amen. Barry is going to play a little bit of music, and then we will sing. Let us sing together in a bulb there is a flower.
Let us join together in prayer this day. If you so wish, you may add a prayer into our chat box to lift that as up as part of our prayer time. We will pray together and to end, say together the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, we come to you in prayer this day with our concerns for the world and for each other. With our anxieties, worries, and concerns. God, we ask your blessing of peace upon us. God, we pray for our world, for Haiti, and their recovery and restoration. For Afghanistan, for peace. For Siberia and the fires. for Canada and our relationships with First Nations people, for all countries suffering from storms, earthquakes, drought, and fear. God, hear our prayers. God, we pray for this raging worldwide pandemic, for countries who have yet to receive the vaccine, for all those in hospital, for living in fear, for those with no access to medical care. God, hear our prayers. We today gather here and at another time and lift up the prayers closest to our hearts. We take a moment of silence to offer them now. And God, we give thanks. We rejoice with love and spirit. We lift up new beginnings in our community. We celebrate new staff arriving. We give thanks for Barry's ministry of music. And we recognize the blessings of peace and understanding. God, help us to continue to be strengthened by you your unconditional love and acceptance. And may you receive all our prayers this day as we pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us sing together, I have called you by your name.
going to invite Betty to unmute and to offer a moment of gratitude. Barry, on behalf of MNP committee, I would like to thank you for assisting us in our music for worship. You were available on short notice and you were able to extend your time with us. We greatly appreciate your contribution. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you all for accepting me into your service. And let us continue by giving thanks for Barry and for singing together our closing song, Peace Be With You. May we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ and bless his name now and forever. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs>